So we are here with uh, episode 11 of What's Selling. This week hasn't been bad, um, so stick around and let me show you what's sold. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. Okay, so I do have Sasha's head on my lap here. Sasha will be going back to North Dakota this coming weekend. I'll be taking a road trip up there to return Sasha to her mom. <laughs> I love this dog, but really, my house is not equipped to handle this size of a dog. So, my first item that sold was this Santa and Sleigh blow mold. It was a tabletop sitting one. I had bought this at that garage sale where I had bundled a whole bunch of things together and then just divided my total. So I'm saying I paid $4.25 for this. I did sell it for $75 with shipping of $11.59. So my total was $59.16. The Thanksgiving napkins, napkin rings were purchased at the same garage sale. So once again, paid $4.25. Um, sold for $45. They were heavier than I thought. So shipping was $10.88. But my total was still, my profit was still $29.87. Uh, this hard plastic Santa blow mold. I did buy this at an estate sale just last weekend, I believe. Um, that video, I believe, is coming up this weekend. But it sold quite quickly. And he's, uh, I paid $37.50 for him. I got him, you know, 25% off. He had been marked at $50. And I was still a little hesitant, but I thought I'd give it a shot. And he did sell for $119. His shipping was $8.41, so a profit of $73.09. This hard plastic snow mold or plastic snowman blow mold, also tabletop. He wasn't real big, probably only about six inches tall. I picked him up in Wisconsin at the uh, yard sale, 100 mile yard sale trip. And I paid $4 for him. He sold for $42. Pretty lightweight, so able to ship him first class. Shipping is $4.20, so a profit of $33.80. I had picked up this bracelet long ago at a garage sale for $5. It did sell for $35. Shipping was $3.98, so a profit of $26.02. Oh, I really did like this. This was just like a, a paperweight or a, a desk ornament. Um, it was from Olga Cassini, and it was a crystal iridescent oyster with a pearl inside. I'm sure not a real pearl, but it was very pretty. Picked it at $5 at a, an estate sale. Sold it for $45. It was $9.16 in shipping, so a profit of $30.84. So I picked up... Um, I went to a local thrift store. I had a gift certificate, and they've got some wonderful boutique clothing in there. It's called Stacy's. I hear it's going to be closing down, and I'm sorry about that. But um, I picked up some Joseph Original figurine dolls. Now, most of them are like birthday dolls, dolls of the month. Uh, this one, however, was the series of the like weekday so this was Tuesday's child and I paid $12 for her sold her for 75 I knew it was going to be a good sale because it's kind of a rarer series in Joseph uh, in the Joseph original line um, shipping was cheap 490 and so I made a profit of $48 and 10 cents Oh, the red beaded napkin rings, very pretty for Christmas. Bought these at an estate sale too uh, for $8, or excuse me, for $12. They sold for $55 with $6.12 shipping, so a profit of $36.88. Another Joseph original um, from the series Farmer's Little Daughter. This one was holding a piglet and feeding um, the piglet a bottle. I knew, too, this one was going to be a good one because it is a rarer series. I paid $15, sold it for 85 
and shipping of $4.90, so a profit of $65.10. Uh, oh, this Wicker Santa Claus hat. So it was big enough you could use it like as a, to put like a huge, yes, Sasha, I know, a huge point Santa plaid in, or, or even big enough that if you had a smaller type artificial Christmas tree, I think the base would easily fit in there. So I bought it at the Goodwill Outlet bins, and maybe paid a dollar and a half for it, sold it for 45. My problem was that it was oversized, so it would not fit into a 12 by 12 by 12 box. And once you get over those dimensions, they charge you quite a lot. It didn't weigh hardly anything. It was made of wicker, but my shipping was still $16.42. Um, so a profit of $27.08. Luckily, I picked it up you know, pretty cheap. Uh, the Nippon Christmas teacup and saucer. Um, I bought it at an estate sale just last week. I believe that video is coming up this coming weekend. Uh, it was on the 25% off uh, day, so I got it for $3.75. And it sold for $40 with $6.36 shipping. I do like Nippon. And you, what you always have to realize is Nippon is going to be earlier than 1920. Um, so my total profit on that was $29.89. Sasha is over here just playing away. So the very last thing, I bought this um, cat base. I call it like modern abstract art. It, I really, really liked it. But I did pay up a little bit for it. I bought this at 605 Antiques a while back. And I believe this video, I had been trying to pick up things that I was sure I could make $40 on. I did. Um, $22.40 is what I paid. Sold it for $88. Shipping was $12.56. So my profit was $53.04. So kind of wraps up everything I sold this week. My total was $522.87. So I met my goal. Yesterday, a couple of friends and I went thrifting all over Iowa. I think I put like almost 300 miles on my car. Um, but it was so fun and I got a lot of, of things. So not this weekend, possibly next weekend. I'll get that video run for you um, and show you what I found. But it was a good day thrifting and always a great day spent with friends. So all for now and we'll see you this weekend at an estate sale. Bye.